Hey guys, Happy New Year's. Uh, today is December 28th and this is probably going to be the last video I record this year. Uh, and this is going to be my monthly menus for the month of November and December. Because I am covering two months, this is going to be a lengthier type of video. I have quite a bit of manicures to talk about and then, you know, obviously in return, a lot of polishes to talk about because I did do a lot of combinations. Before I get into all that though, let me mention quickly what is on my lips, which is NARS Cruella. And then point out the obvious, which is that I cut my hair. I only took a little bit off only because I wanted to add shape back into my hair. Um, some of you guys may, may know that I've been growing out my pixies since um, the summer. And um, it's been, you know, aside from going through the growing pains of growing out my hair, honestly, the hardest part has been uh, that I miss having super short hair. I've had a pixie cut for the better part of maybe about 10 years or so. And so every time I look at pictures online of a pixie cut, it just looks so adorable and it's just, it just looks really beautiful. Um, but I am determined to growing it out because I'm going for a short bob with bangs. I'm not quite at the length that I want my hair to be at just yet. Let me show you guys, let me pull this out. It's probably gonna look a little funky because I've had these tucked behind my ears all day. Um, but this, I'm wanting a little bit more length. We're almost there. Uh, but what I do have now, which I've never had before, are bangs. I am obsessing over them. Um, it takes some getting used to. They're, because they're in my face and I'm not used to that, I'm constantly wanting to, or I forget that I have the bangs and so I'm constantly wanting to move my hair out of out of the way. Um, the hairstyle stylist that I go to is at Supercuts and she does such an amazing job. Um, she did a little bit of stacking here at the back just to help, I guess, gradually round it out. Uh, she didn't wanna do too much though because I do have a lot of hair and if she does that, it'll bubble up here in this area, which I actually don't mind only because I have a very flat head. I am having to, um, not only get used to the hairstyle, obviously, but also get used to now because my hair is a little bit longer. I now have to put effort into doing my hair every single morning. Um, and now having bangs, I have to do my bangs as well because I have a cowlick. We call it remolino here in this area. So my hair wants to flip into just a funny direction. So I have to train the bangs. I am planning on possibly going shorter on my bangs. I haven't decided just yet. That's initially what I wanted to do. Um, but I went for the longer bangs just to start, you know, just to get used to it. And then I'll probably end up cutting them a little bit shorter and probably stacking them a little bit more. I just want them to be a little bit more hefty, I guess. Okay, so let me get into all of the polishes here. I'm going to start off with, and I think I have all of these in the order that I wore them. I have Infinity from Dare to Wear. And this is a golden type of green. It's a little bit more golden. I feel like it's coming off very olivey here, but it has some golden tones. It's very golden leaning. I feel like it's very regal looking. Really awesome formula, two coats to cover the nails. Because the particles are super fine, I do have to keep my brush straight on my nails so that I avoid having, um, uh, what is it called? The lines, the brush strokes. This one doesn't have that continuous multi-shifting you know as you're moving your nails around it just kind of changes colors depending on what room i was sitting in so when i sat outside sometimes it will pull a little bit more green if i was indoors and with overhead lighting it looked it pulled a little bit more golden this actually reminded me so much of this polish which is from orally and this is called whispered lore let me put them side by side here this one actually prompted me to get rid of Whispered Lore, not because Whis Whispered Lore is not beautiful, because it is, and it also has a great formula, but because I feel like the tones in Infinity are just a little bit more saturated, and so I kind of like that against my skin tone a little bit more. So I'm actually decluttering Whispered Lore. I'm passing that one along so somebody else can enjoy it, and I'm going to be keeping um, Infinity from Dare to Wear. The next manicure is actually a manicure um, that I'm going to be decluttering a polish from as well. I talked about this, I think, sometime last year 
or this year um, that I am going to be, you know, very brutal with a lot of the polishes that I wear. Um, and if it's not something that I see myself wearing more than once, I'm getting rid of it. Uh, so this here is from OPI and it's called Nessie Plays Hide and Seek. And this one has an inky, inky blue base and then it also has some teal shimmers which are not showing up here on camera and it also has some gold shimmers running throughout. I think the camera is capturing the gold shimmer. Formula wise, this is really beautiful, opaque at two coats. Um, the color is really, really pretty. Uh, I just have other blue teal polishes that I enjoy so much more. So I'm going to be passing this one actually to one of my daughters because she actually really liked this polish. I did end up pairing this one up with a nails ink and I, every time I talk about nails ink, for some reason I call them NCLA. <laughs> I always get them confused, but this is a nails ink polish and it's called Santa Monica Beach. And this one has two toned metallic glitters. And I think at some point, I'm pretty sure I saw some scattered black glitters, but I don't know if I'm iman imagining that. This was still a really beautiful combination, though. Really enjoyed it. I just, I don't love this enough to keep it around in my collection. And this one from uh, Nails Inc. is a glitter that, that does cover the nail at a couple of coats, two to three coats um, to completely cover the nail. It is more of a chunky glitter, so it, you know, takes a little bit of effort to remove. But I oftentimes use the um, Soak Off Gel Clips these little guys to remove the glitters. It makes it a little bit easier for removal. And the next manicure is another one where I'll be decluttering another polish. <laughs> a lot of declutters in this video. Oh my God, okay. I have one from Paparazzi. This is called Harvest Moon. It's one of those squash leaning type of polishes where it's a little bit orangey and a little bit yellow. And it's a really beautiful color. In person, it has a little bit more of an orange tone. I think it's pulling a little bit more yellow here. Formula wise, this is a little bit thinner, so it does require about three coats. That's not actually my issue with this polish. My issue with these paparazzi polish, because they paparazzi has really pretty colors, actually. They have this flaky, like chunky flaky that I have from them. I have not worn it, but it's really pretty. They have really pretty colors, point is. Um, my issue with their polishes is that they stink so bad and I cannot stand it. I decluttered a green polish from them before for the very same reason. Although I loved the green color from that polish, I could not stand the smell. But it is a beautiful, beautiful polish. If you're not one who is super sensitive to smells, um, then you would enjoy uh, this brand in particular. And then I did top it over with a um, crystal top coat from Sally Hansen. I used the crap out of this polish this uh, past fall season. I'm pretty sure I recorded uh, when I hauled these polishes and reviewed them maybe two, three months ago. And I'm already a quarter of the way used in this bottle. It's just so good. It's such a good flaky, like multi-shifting flaky top coat. You can really put it over top of anything. The next manicure is actually a manicure where I'm not going to be decluttering any polishes uh, because I love them all and I really love this manicure. Uh, so this is what's my chocolate brown um, Skittles mani. And I started off with an off-white. This is Shorbet from Pure Eyes. It's an off-white cream. It has a little bit of a yellow tone. Formula wise, this is amazing. It covers the nail in two coats. And then I also paired it up with a Take It All Off from uh, Color Club, my kids, I swear. <laughs> you know, oftentimes my, when my husband and I, because we oftentimes either sit outside, actually that's where we mainly sit, um, we hear our kids laughing so loud and we just chuckle because it makes us happy because then I, I don't know then we know that our kids are really happy so every time i hear the noise it makes me laugh because i don't know i just i'm happy that my kids are really happy you know or that they have a lot of fun together anyways okay this is take it all off this is a really pretty brown and it's a cream it takes 
two coats to cover the nails. It is coming off very light here. In person, it has, it's a little bit deeper and it has almost like a little bit of a pinky tone. It's really beautiful. And then I also paired it up with Don't Be Chocolate from Essie. This is a very decadent looking type of brown. Uh, it has a lot of red tones. And another one that has a really beautiful formula. It covers the nail in two coats and then totally toffee. Out of all of these brown polishes that I'm talking about here, this is the one that took a little bit longer to dry, but I still love this polish. This one is from Revlon. I'm pretty sure they still have this available. And this one in person has a little bit more of a ready tone as well. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, but it also, it, this one's also a little bit thinner, so it does cover the nail in about three coats. And then the last one, which is the darkest one, this is an espresso brown from Essie. Awesome formula. This is a one coater. This is Partner in Crime. And it's a cream. And what I did with that manicure is added a matte top coat. The matte top coat that I used is from Starly. It was my first time using it. It's the mattifying top coat. It's called Matter. Uh, and it's from Starly. Really good matte top coat. It doesn't add that velvety finish uh, that I really enjoy actually from the Essie Matte About You. But um, it gave it more of a leathery type of look, which I think worked very well with that brown mani. And then I did add some metal accents to the nail. And oh my God, that just elevated that manicure so much. I bought these little discs. They came stacked with different discs. Um, it came with different stones and, and stuff like that, different colors. I pulled the one that had the little um, metal uh, triangles, the gold ones, and just glued them on my nails with a nail glue from Kiss that I oftentimes buy. I'll go into my Amazon um, shopping history and I'll try to link this little kit below if in case you guys are interested. None of the links below, by the way, are affiliated. And that was probably one of my favorite manicures out of the entire fall season. Uh, it was just really, really beautiful. I had a... A funky time in November with manicures because we went through a lot last year in November and December and and so it just kind of you know brought things back this year as well and so I just felt didn't feel as inspired I guess uh, and so I didn't play as much with manicures as I would have wanted to um, and it was just kind of the same thing this December month. But, you know, I was still able to wear some manis. The manicure that I wore this Thanksgiving is a combination of three polishes. These two polishes I actually wore last thanks uh, last fall season. Uh, I have Bronze Ambition here from Orly. This is a part of their breathable line. And it's coming off a little bit more orangey tone, but in person it has a little bit more red. And it's such a beautiful copper metallic. It's kind of in between a copper and a bronze, I should say. A really great formula, covers the nail in two coats. This is another one where the particles are super, super fine. So uh, it does help to keep the brush straight on the nail so that you avoid the brush strokes. And then I did a little uh, gradient from the cuticle down. And I started off actually with Nina Ultra Pro. I don't even know which one I added first. I think it was this one. It's the Nails Inc. Santa Monica Beach. And um, and then I added this Nina Ultra Pro Gold Flake top coat and just dry brushed these from the cuticle down just so that I could get a little bit of a glitter gradient. Last year though, I didn't include this Nails Ink glitter. I just did a little cascade look utilizing the Nina Ultra Pro and that still looked really pretty. Before I move forward, let me mention three polishes that I wore as pedicures really quick before I forget because I just remembered these. Um, Because this one I wore during Thanksgiving as well. I have Stranger Tides from OPI. This is a sage green cream. And I also added a little bit of a glitter gradient on the toenail, utilizing the Nails Inc. Santa Monica Beach. Really pretty gold glitter. Before I wore that pedicure though, I wore Decades of Dysfunction from Orly. And this is the softest lilac that I have in my collection. Um, pretty old polish. You can see that has the old tag. Let's see if it'll focus. Very tricky formula for this one, but because I applied it as a pedicure, um, I didn't mind. It does cover the nail at three coats, but the application is a little bit tricky, and then it takes a little bit of um, extra drying time. And then another polish that I wore as a pedicure is Sonia Kashuk's Little Dra li no, Little Lies, which is a berry tone cream. 
just so so beautiful not my favorite berry out of my collection i've come to realize so this is another one that i'll probably end up decluttering at some point all right let me do another manicure that i adore guys i haven't worn this polish in a really long time i did a nail of the day featuring this polish because i put it on my nails and i was just like oh my god i need to talk about this polish it needs a longer longer video because it's just so beautiful this was one of my picks for the fall just because it's a metallic and metallics are in during the fall and i had not worn this particular metallic in a really long time this is play dead from simple colors <sighs> play dead has a mix of like a smoke smoky silver shimmer and then a pink shimmer almost almost purple though because it almost hints a little bit purple on the nails and then it has a larger hexes that i remember these looking a little bit more coppery and they now look a little bit more bronze this is so pretty guys oh my god if you guys have this please bring it out and wear it it is so beautiful i'm gonna link that nail of the day up in the cards it is a lengthier video for a nail of the day but i wanted to feature this polish in every single light <laughs> outdoors you know in dim lighting indoors under overhead lighting indoors with indirect sunlight i mean i just wanted to feature it in every single light because it just it changed it up a little bit in direct sunlight it just pulled a little bit more almost like it had a little bit of lavender and then indoors it pulled almost a little bit pink if i remember correctly i don't know it just looked beautiful um a great formula for this one maybe two coats to cover the nails uh it's a beautiful polish i'm pretty sure they don't make this one anymore but if you do have it in your collection i do suggest that you bring it out even now in in the winter although it's um it's like a halloween themed polish because of the name uh, but metallics are in you know fall and winter season i came across this really beautiful design on google images because i was looking for a little inspiration for fall manicures so i'll make sure to put that picture up here on the screen uh, so i pulled a couple of polishes you know to kind of try to mirror that design i started off with the base though and i used a sheer fantasy from essie this is a very soft sheer pink and this is the type of pink that no matter how many coats you add on the nails it's you're always going to be able to see the nail line but that's exactly what i was looking for and then over top of that because i wanted to add a little bit of my own touch i wanted a little bit of sparkle i added golden enchantment from china glaze and golden enchantment is a gold a micro gold holographic glitter it is so beautiful guys this had been on my lemming for the longest time i oftentimes searched the web for this polish because it's you can't find it um i don't know why china glaze won't keep something like this around this is the counterpart to fairy dust if you own fairy dust then you know what kind of sparkle this will add on the nails anyways this one is so beautiful if you ever come across um, this polish online i do recommend that you pick it up because it's just so pretty i'm so grateful that sweet karen sent this one to me over top of that though i did add a little swirl design utilizing the brushes in these bottles but i also brought out a detail art brush just to get in the little corners i pulled out to create my design with no this is elysium fields from orally it's a mossy green and this one has a little bit of a yellow tone. And then I also pulled out this orange, which is Elysium. No, what, why am I getting these names wrong? Lion's Ear. And this is kind of a marigold type of orange. And I really enjoyed that design. Very easy to put together. And it's actually a design that I can put together utilizing other colors as well. Uh, okay, and then the next one is one that I didn't take the best picture of because I, I think I took this picture at the four fourth or fifth day mark i can't remember but this was such a beautiful manicure guys this is from chanel this is called prune prune i think it's called prune it's just a very warm dark purple it has a lot of red tones in it really awesome formula love this color on the nails um and it almost looks like Viking in a Winter Wonderland. I think that's why I loved it so much because I love that polish so much and have repurchased it many times. This almost reminds me of that one, only that I think this one has even a little bit more of that ready tone in it. And it wore very, very well. I know a lot of people say that Chanel doesn't last on their nails. And I think I've had that experience with 
some Chanel polishes. This one though lasted on my nails very, very well. I think I wore it maybe at minimum four days and I had some tip wear, which is to be expected though because this is a dark color, but it never chipped on me. The next manicure is utilizing another orally polish. This is called Stop the Clock. This is almost like a burnt copper type of polish. Um, it has a lot of brown undertones. It's so, so pretty. Uh, it has some brown and then reddy tones in it. And it's one of those shimmer metallics. Really awesome formula. I think this one covers the nail in one coat. Um, doesn't take a lot. Really awesome formula. And then on my ring finger, I um, paired it up with this one because I had not worn it. And we were nearing, I think, or we were at the beginning, possibly at the beginning of December. I can't even rem remember anymore. I had not worn this one um, from Hollow Taco. This is called Xyler the Cat. This is an orange holographic micro glitter. So this is one of those glitters that does stick terribly to the nails. But it looks so beautiful. Separately, these are really, really beautiful. I did not, though enjoy them together for some reason i don't know why unfortunately i had to wear this manicure for like an entire week because i didn't have time to switch it out but it, you know it is a manicure that i wore okay diet coke break guys sorry for the next manicure i wore a combination of these two polishes these two polishes were sent to me by koki what i like about koki is that they they don't Ask me to talk about their polishes. I could talk about them if I want to or not. I'm never obligated. These two, um, they sent to me a couple months ago along with uh, some other polishes. And these were the first two that I really wanted to wear. I actually want to wear another one that I have on my winter seasonal rack, which I'm currently working on. But I wanted to wear these in December for sure. This is called Prima Donna. Which has quickly made it to one of my top reds, guys. This competes with I'm Not Really a Waitress for me. They're different though. This is different from I'm Not Really a Waitress. I'm Not Really a Waitress is my gift wrapping paper type of red that I love pulling out during the month of December. This looks, looks slightly metallic on the nails, but the particles are larger, so they are different. But, oh my god. This just has made it to the top for Christmas reds for me. It is so beautiful. This has a cool red sheer base. Let me show you guys. Maybe the, I don't know if the camera's gonna pull it. It leans just slightly bit more pink. And then it has some almost red shimmers in here that look almost slightly pink as well. But what I love about this polish is that it has warmth in it as well very interesting polish it has this gold shimmer that almost pulls a little bit orangey on the nails it pulls like a ready pinky shimmer metallic but then when the sun hits it and in certain lights it'll pull out the warmth oh my god so pretty and beautiful beautiful formula this one covered the nail in two coats on my ring finger i added starry eyed and another beautiful polish from Koki. Uh, this one has a mix. It looks like gold and silver. Micro metallic glitters. But then it has scattered holographic. This sparkles so much. Even from afar, I could see the sparkle on my nail. This is what it looks like on the nails. It's so pretty. What I like about this though is that you see the two tones of the metallic glitter on the nail. And so it it helps it look more dimensional and just more reflective, um which was so so pretty. I love this. I did a paint your nails with me video uh, for this combination, so I'll make sure to link that one up in the cards. I pulled out Nouveau Riche from Orly, which is a brighter green i guess for christmas this one has a mix of a brighter green shimmer and then an emerald green shimmer as well as some gold shimmer running throughout but then it also has this blue very fine pearl um so you see a little flash of the blue depending on how the light is hitting your nails this is just so beautiful i love this this polish i actually wore it as a pedicure as well combined with another polish that i'll i'll talk about in just a moment so this one is new barish 
Really awesome formula, covers the nail in two coats. I did though do a little um, glitter gradient using another orally polish, which is another favorite. This is Untouchable um, Decadence. And this is just a straight up gold glitter in varying sizes. And also really beautiful. This has a lot of glitter so i have to remove a lot of the um the glitter off the brush in order to create that gradient effect on the nails um and then the other polish that i uh wore nouveau riche with on my toes i actually still have this on my toes i need to do my pedicure is meet me under the mistletoe another one from orly and it almost this one almost has a little bit just a little bit a blue in it as well so I just alternated nails uh, with these colors and then I added the little glitter gradient on my toes also okay a rose gold Skittles Manny I did my uh, rose gold collection video so I'll make sure to link that one up in the cards since then I have um, decluttered Halcyon from Zert Colors and Orly's Rage like I mentioned and I was planning to do in that video so the only four that I have to, sh to show you guys here are the ones that I decided to keep. So I have Sweet and Spicy from Simple Colors. And then I also have a Supernova from Simple Colors. This is probably one of my favorite rose golds because it leans just a little bit more sil silvery. Here on camera, it's pulling way more silver than what it looks like in person. Um, it's a little bit more pink. Both of these are actually. And then I also kept a cheap champagne. And this is the warmest of the rose golds that I own. It has a lot of red tones in it, but it has two toned glitters. Um, one of which is a lighter pink and one of, one of which is more of a red tone type of pink. It's so really, really beautiful. And then Lucid Dream from Orly. It's another one that's a favorite of mine. This is a warmer type of rose gold. It has almost like a little, a little touch of bronze, but the smallest amount. And it's super, super flattering on the nails. I did a Christmas combos video. I'll make sure to link it up in the cards if in case you guys are interested. And I mentioned in that video that I, I thought that maybe all the Twitter would look really beautiful over top of Happy Anniversary from OPI. And it did, guys. This is the combination that I wore for Christmas. This is Happy Anniversary. It is one of my favorite white polishes ever. It's just so beautiful. And this is a glass fleck white. It's a white shimmer, but then it has, I don't know if you guys can see, it has little random specks. They almost sparkle different colors. In some lights, you get a little bit more pink, and then you get a little bit of blue. It's almost like the finest holographic, I guess. I don't know. It's just so pretty. So I added two coats of Happy Anniversary, and then over top of that, I added all the Twitter and glitter, which is an iridescent chunky glitter. And it is so beautiful. I could not capture the iridescent um, reflect in my pictures for some reason, but such a beautiful combination. This would be actually a really pretty combination for the New Year's. Lastly, what is on my nails now is a combination of these two polishes. This is a Berlin There Done That. It is a taupe. I have not worn a neutral on my nails, like on my hands in a really long time. And I'm, I'm talking like a taupe type of polish, right? Um, so it's taking me some time to adjust but it's so beautiful. This is um, kind of like a grayish purple and it has th the smallest touch of brown. It's coming off super gray here, not even purple at all. Really great formula, two coats for this one. And then um, on my accent nail, which is so pretty and sparkly, and then I put it on my thumb as well. This is another Hollow Taco polish. This is called Gift Receipt. It's a like a foil type of polish, I think a foil metallic my camera is not capturing it but what this has and that i find to be really interesting is uh, that it has almost a touch of yellow in it which warms it up it's just so pretty and a formula wise is super awesome it covered the nail in two coats Lastly, let me talk about some base and top coats that are some of my most used and favorites just because I've been getting asked. So quickly, I'll go through these because I, I think I've made a top coat, base coat type of video in the past. I have the CND Sticky Base Coat. 
And this is sticky, like the name suggests, so it adheres really well to your nails, and then it stays sticky, so when you put the polish on, the polish adheres very well to the sticky base. I feel like it helps the manicure just last a little bit longer. Same thing with Orly Bunder, although I do feel like the sticky base coat works a little bit better, and I can, I can attest to that because I tried peeling my nails when I used to do that before. I had a harder time peeling um, with the, when I had the sticky base on than I did the Orly Bunder. Orly Bunder still, you know, my manicure still lasts very, very well. With the CND sticky base coat though, my polish kept coming off in little flakes just because it didn't want to come off. So I just, you know, I just wanted to share that. But Orly Bunder is also really awesome. This is a rubberized base, but it's also a sticky base coat. So it has, it does the same thing. It has the same effect. Uh, another base coat that I love so much is the Biotin Ultimate Strength from Nail Aid. This is a strengthening type of base coat. That's not why I use it though, although I appreciate, you know, the help. But the reason why I use this is because I do feel like this, I feel like my polish just lasts on my nails a long time, guys. Like I never chips. I don't have wearability issues though, only if when my nails are peeling, then obviously, you know, I'm going to have chipping issues, but I don't have wearability issues with polishes. I know a lot of people mention, you know, that you may be still perfect or simple colors don't last on, on their nails. I don't have a problem with them. They can stay on my nails four, five, six, seven days sometimes, you know, a week and a half, and I don't have an issue. I just feel like this, this base coat just works so well. It really does help, help the manicure just stay on longer. These two ridge fillers I really enjoy because they're tinted white. Um, obviously, you know, I appreciate the assistance when it comes to filling the ridges on my nails, but that's not why I use these. I love these specifically because they add a white base to my nails, and I specifically enjoy these when I'm using a sheer pink base, like Sheer Fantasy, or um, a pastel pink that requires quite a few coats, let's say, like Muchi Muchi. I have this in my project polish this year. It just reduces the amount of layers that I have to apply of a polish like this, for example. The Sesh base, though, is a little bit more of an opaque white than the one from Orly. Um, and this one, I do find that it takes a little longer to dry, and I have to let the layers dry. Um, if not, once I apply my polish, it just... It'll, it makes my manicure take longer to dry if I don't let this dry, basically. And then the other one is the Nail Armor from Orly. This is a strengthening base coat. Not the reason why I use them, though. I use this one, again, for sheer polishes or milky type of polishes, only because it almost blurs the line of my, my nail line. And so, again, reduces the amount of layers of polishes that I have to apply on my nails. When it comes to top coats, I have quite a few favorites here. Um, one of them that I've re-fallen in love with for the longest time, I really love the INM out the door and I stuck to it. I used to have a mama size. I mean, I always repurchase that top coat, but I have re-fallen in, in, in love with the Sesh Veed top coat. This is um, a fast drying top coat and um, it's just really, really good. Another top coat though that I really love is the Salon Perfect. This is their plumping gel. Actually, I'm almost out of this one and I have another one um, that's in the box waiting to be used. I really enjoy this one because it also adds a almost gel-like look to my nails. It's very glossy, it's thick. It's not a fast drying top coat though like the Sesh V. But it also doesn't take forever to dry. Another fast drying top coat that I enjoy or have been enjoying lately is the Speed Setter. Um, I like this one because it has a thinner uh, formulation to Sesh Vite, for instance. So I usually touch up my top coat every one to two days after I've done my manicure. And then I keep doing that every other day just to freshen up the nails, right? So I oftentimes like pulling a top coat that's a little bit thinner because I don't want my manicure to end up looking super thick, you know, by the time I'm done wearing that many, basically. This one is a fast drying one though from Essie and it's the Speed Setter. This one that's not fast drying though, but it is thinner also. Um, and another one that I love using to touch up the manicure. I also really like the glosser from Orly. I think it's called, there's another one that's called In a Snap from Orly. Just a thinner formulated top coat that adds the shine back to the nails. This is just one that I have 
and use right now. This is just the regular top coat from OPI. I just have top coats for, you know, that I enjoy using for different uh, reasons here. And then a top coat that I enjoy using for um, when I do nail art because it doesn't smudge the design is the Maniology uh, top coat. It's the only one that I've really used. Uh, and because I still have this one, I don't find the need to go out and get another one. My ultimate favorite matte top coat is from Essie and this is the matte about you. I just recently purchased the matte, matte top coat from Essie that's from their gel couture line because I wanted to compare them. I didn't even know they made that one. I think it's new and I wanted to buy another uh, or a backup of the matte about you from Essie and I can't find it anywhere. I don't know and I'm hoping that they're not discontinuing it because this is my favorite. And the reason why this is my favorite above all of the other matte top coats, not that they're not good, because I like the finish that this leaves on the nails. This has a matte finish, obviously on the nails, but what I enjoy about it is that it makes the nails look velvety, almost not fussy, but kind of. <laughs> very weird it doesn't it doesn't look fussy but they just look matte and velvet <sighs> i just love that matte finish um so this is matte about you i'm pretty sure if i can't find it in store i'm gonna have to go searching online to get some backups because i will be super sad if, if se discontinues this why 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 <sighs> get rid of something that is already so perfect i have not tried the gel couture line matte top coat just yet so I'm hoping that it's good if they are discontinuing Mad About You. Okay, guys, that is everything. This is a hell of a long video. Oh, my God. It's going to be um, to edit, but that's okay. I'm thinking or considering of doing a favorites manicure for this year because I do have some favorites, maybe top 10 or something. I am going to be recording a winter seasonal rack video. Um, I think case you guys are curious, I have a lot of polishes left over though from my fall seasonal rack. So a lot of those almonds, almost half of the rack guys is still there because I just didn't switch up my manicures as often as I wanted to. So a lot of the polishes, I am going to try to filter through them, but a lot of the polishes are going to stay up there. So if I do a winter seasonal rack video, it's only going to be for the, re the polishes that I'm newly adding to the rack. So that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have an awesome and safe New Year's and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.